how's the ISTE been? Is ISTE been good so far? Yeah? How do we design an education system to enable present and future generations to thrive? This is the taxing question, isn't it? I think what we need to do is look at how we can reskill teachers and provide more support. We need teachers who can personalize the learning because personalization can't really be done by a computer. Education has very little to do with explanation. It has to do with engagement. You're willing to work longer and harder and persist in the face of challenges when you're working on things that you're passionate about, that you care about. We built classrooms that were designed to isolate, but it's not the path of future learning, and it's certainly not the path we're trying to follow at PyTop. What we're really trying to do is rehumanize schools and learning to bring back actually something that got pushed out and lost because we lack the technology to manage it. When you're looking at PyTop and you're looking at constructionism in schools, it's those types of skills, it's those types of talents that you know we try and foster with the type of projects that we push out into schools and have teachers and students create their own things. If we want kids to develop as creative thinkers, we need to give them opportunities to create. If you're a parent, look to buy toys for the kids. Don't think about what's the toy to do for the child. What can the child create with the toy? One of the things we're really trying to do at PyTop, and one of the things we need your help in, is to build those spaces so that learners can suddenly bloom, blossom, find the thing they love that they never would have run into otherwise. Do away with curriculum, do away with segregation by age, and do away with the idea that there should be uniformity of all schools and what people learn. And I'm down with that. So we have just this fantastic community of educators, makers, students, people building with PyTop things. It's so important for everybody to work together for you know, something much bigger.